Hello and welcome back. In this video we are going to be looking at the solution for question 7 of the January 2024 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. It's our pattern and sequence question and it says the diagram below shows the first three shapes in a sequence which forms a pattern. Each shape is made using a set of small white counters and black counters. So here we have the first shape, second shape, third shape and we are told complete the diagram below to represent set shape 4. So let's see what we observe. So in the first shape, let's start with the black dots. We have 1, then 3. In the second one, we have 1, then 3, then 5. And in the third, we have 1, 3, 5, 7. So it stands to reason that we need to have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So since this is 7, I'm going to go ahead and um, just put a dot here and one here on this side and that would make nine one three five seven nine of course the these need to be filled out so I'll uh, just fill that out real quick um, that's the idea just to fill these out there um, so we have nine now um, and that would have completed the black part. Now we need to talk about the white dots. So here we have three then six. And notice that the number of white dots coincide with the last line. So we have three in this line, three. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, three rows of it. So two rows, then three rows, then one, two, three, four rows. And so we are supposed to have five rows in the last one. So one, two, three. Um, so we need two more. So let's put in some some dots or circles. That's what they are, white circles. And of course, we need to fill out the ones on the side. And that essentially gives you the um the diagram that we need to draw so two here three there one two three four here and so we need one two three four five to complete and then one three five seven nine since the last one stopped at one three five seven that takes care of that and we can move on to the other part of the question so here it says the number of white counters w and the number of black counters b and the total number of counters t that form each shape follow a pattern the values for w and b that's white and black and t for total here are shown in the table below study the pattern of the numbers in each row of the table and complete the table so we have one and in sort of white counters we have one plus one then two times one plus one which gives us six and you notice that um the the s number is the same thing that is being repeated here so s is one so we have one s is two we have two s is three we have three there same thing on this side one two three it's the same number coming down so by the time we get here we could write this down in terms of writing down the rule um, whatever this is we're going to start the same way so we're going to start with n and then it's plus one that is constant so we can add a one there and then over here it's 2n and plus one just the same so n plus one and 2n plus one that completes this and then looking at this pattern over here we notice in the, in the black column we have one plus one two plus one three plus one so we are using our s number here to add to one to give us the black counters, square it, it to get the black counters, so one, two, three. So by the time we get to here, it's going to be n plus one. And let's go back and finish up the table now. So notice here four. So because it's n plus one, we're going to add one to four. So it's going to be four plus one here. Square that, of course. We get 25. Now let's look at what's happening here. We have the number of white and the number of black and the number of white and black combined to give you the total. So 6 plus 4 gives you 10. 
15 plus 9 gives you 24. So lots of relationships in this table. 28 plus 16 gives you 44. And here 45 plus 25 gives us 70. So we have filled out this row. Um, here we have another row to fill out. So we have 144 here. And we could, since this number plus this number gives us um, gives us the total, and we have 144 here, we could subtract 144 from, from 420, and that would give us our answer. Or we could go straight over here and notice that whatever number 144 is n plus 1, so n has to be 11. So this is the 11th figure, and then 11 plus 1 gives us 12 here and the 12 square of course gives us 44 so the number that goes in here like I said 420 minus 144 since since this number plus this number gives us the total and we can subtract there 4 from 10 leaves 6 and 4 from 11 gives us 7 and we have that's three there one from three gives us two so we have 276 in this line to fill out all right and pretty much that does it for the table uh, there's another part of the question though so let's look at that um, it says the expression for the total number of counters Total is white plus black in shape S is given by this um, expression here. T is equal to A S square plus B S plus 2 where A and B are both positive integers. By substituting suitable values for S, show that the total number of counters in shape 1 and shape 3 um, in terms of A and B is represented by the equations here. Um, so let's start with the first one. Since the first one represents the first shape, So for shape one, um, let's look at the number of black and white counters in it. Um, for shape one, we have one, two, three, four, black and six white. And so we can, we have 10 in total. So using this expression, a s square plus b s plus two, let us say s is one since shape 1 then we have a times 1 square plus b times 1 plus 2 remember that when we counted them a while ago 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we had 10 counters in all so that gives us 10 there and so this is a plus b plus 2 equal 10 we can um, rearrange this equation, get the two on the other side. So a plus b is equal to 10, take away 2, and that gives us a plus b equal 8. So we have done the first one. Now for shape 3, so now s is equal to 3. We are going to have same formula here, a s squared plus b s plus 2 equal was the total number of shapes in that one. So for the third one we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, it was in the table. So let's look in the table. Um, the third one had 44. And so we can just write that 44 there. Now S is 3. So we have A times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus 2 gives us 44 and so this gives us 9b plus 9a rather not b uh, so let's get rid of that um, 9a plus 3b plus 2 gives us 44 that means rearranging the equation again 9a plus 3b is equal to 44. Take away 2. Again, 9a plus 3b is equal to 42. Uh, but that, this doesn't look like this. 
uh, there are different equations but if you look at it closely realize that it can be divided by 3 so if we divide this equation by 3 then 9a divided by 3 gives us a 3a and 3b divided by 3 gives us a b or 1b and 42 divided by 3 gives us 14 so it actually is the same thing just that it's multiplied by um, it's three times bigger so dividing it by three um, gives us what we have there and so we have shown that the two equations um, can be written exactly like this a plus b is 8 and 3 plus b is 14 and I guess we could use that to find the values of a and b if we wanted to but that is not required because we have come to the end of our question and thank you very much for watching please remember if you know somebody who needs help with these kind of questions kindly give them a word so they too can benefit from the experience.